annual Calabasas Malibu Food and Wine Festival. And I have met my first guest, and there are going to be many, many to come, but I'm sitting here with Bill Candela, spokesperson for Wade's Wines, and the vineyard for Wade's Wines is in none other than West Lake Village, California. I had no idea there were even vineyards in West Lake Village, Bill. Oh yeah, there's vineyards in Malibu area, probably about 12 of them that are licensed. This vineyard happens to be right behind Wade's home, up wow. on Misty Ridge in Westlake. So it's a very local wine. That's fantastic, especially for us Southern Californians. We can come on out. Do you actually do tours at all at the vineyard? Well, the vineyard's kind of small. Behind this house is only an acre and a half. Probably the biggest touring uh, vineyard out here right now is Malibu Estates, Semler. Oh, yes, yes. They have a regular, they have a beautiful facility We actually out there. featured Malibu Estate wines just a few weeks ago, definitely. Most but we're definitely here to talk about Wade's wine, so oh, okay. tell us. <laughs> we will talk about Malibu a little bit later. Tell us a little bit about what makes Wade's unique. I mean, it's obviously, it's a small vineyard, so they must specialize in certain types of wines. Well, what, what types do they specialize? Actually, Wade's is a retailer. We have over 5,000 different wine labels that we sell. Wow. Mostly small, handcrafted wines wineries thousand cases or less mm -hmm. we have 42 labels under our own private oh label. my gosh wow. this this particular vineyard is the only one in Westlake that Wayne owns mm. there are other vineyards there most of them are private so they don't really have any way to have tastings or anything else I see a lot of people grow grapes to sell to other wineries mm -hmm. in this particular case we grew them all for ourselves <laughs> and this has been the first full year that we produced it and the, what I have here is uh, called a decantus. I love it's it. It's an aerator. Uh -huh. Now you've heard of decanting a wine? Yes, I have. This is instant gratification, where the wine decants automatically. Great. Now tell me, uh, first of all, what sets us apart from the other aerator that I own? Well, tell we, me, you were telling me earlier, tell us before we use it. I'm not sure the camera can see this, but the aerator holes are on an angle. And the Venturi has holes that are straight. Mm -hmm. What I like about this particular vent decantus is that you can continually pour. Okay. You don't have to stop. In okay. other words, if I take the pour spout off, mm -hmm. I can actually pour without it backing up. That's great. Right into the glass. Ooh, that's fun. I like can you it. see the color? Yes, I can. Beautiful, deep purple color. And what is this? What wine this are This is a Syrah. Tasting? This is the Wade's Wines Syrah. Syrah. And so, are you going to try with me here? Oh, of course. I, you know, I believe in a party, not just not just doing this on my own. So I like this. Me. I like this more and more every <laughs> second. <laughs> We're in to please. Love it, love it. So that is the Decantus aerator, mm -hmm. and salute. Ooh, that's very full bodied. Nice mouth okay. feel. Mm-hmm. A lot of fruit, a lot of crispness in there. Mm -hmm. First glass of the day, folks. <laughs> you guys won't be the last. You definitely get the medal for that. First glass, and it's a great one. Great glass from Wade's Wines, their Syrah, and it's a 2008. Um, so you were saying that you have 43 different labels under your Wade's Wines. Uh, under wine Wade's brand. Wines. What we basically do is we go to a lot of the winemakers and buy the leftovers. Uh huh. <clears throat> Excuse me, as you know, or may not know, a barrel of wine produces about 24.6 cases of wine. Wow. So that 0.6, if you do enough of it, you can put it all together and blend it, or you can put enough together from different barrels. And oftentimes they call those field blends. Okay. So we have a lot of blended wines under our own label. Wow. From famous wine makers like Joey Tinsley up okay. in Gilton, uh -huh. uh, and quite a few others that don't want us to mention their names. <laughs> It's, it's our little secret. Right. <laughs> and, and oftentimes we'll just go in and buy one or two barrels uh, of prime stock just mm -hmm. to, so we have that varietal that we can pour at events like we're at today. That's great. Uh, we have a lot of local barrels that we pulled from Triumphal Creek right up the road on mm -hmm. Canaan Road mm -hmm. and some off of Mulholland Highway. Mm -hmm. So believe it or not, there's a lot of local vineyards around here that there are, are producing beautiful, intense flavored grapes. That's wonderful. Now, you're here to do wine tastings for the people that are attending the wine festival today. What wines are you going to be sampling besides the Syrah we're tasting today? Well, we brought a uh, Sundowner uh, blend. It's 50% Zinfandel, 50% Syrah from oh, Mulholland Drive. Nice. It's delicious. From Mulholland Drive. That sounds very glamorous. Yeah, we actually have a label <laughs> called Mulholland Drive. Nice. And that particular label is a blend, and it, the blend is called Malibu Melange. Oh. And it's a blend of four different varietals, Cabernet, Merlot, Cab Franc, and uh, Syrah. Okay. And that's a very nice wine also. 
We brought one Chardonnay. Unfortunately, it actually comes from Aurora Seco, so it's so pretty far north. <laughs> But but it's no longer a, local. But it's unoaked. It's very crisp, and it's the type of wine that, on a warm day, tastes really good. And today is a warm day, so right. there, the wine tasters out there are going to love it. Well, especially when you're tasting all these foods out here. So we brought right. a lot of extra of that because I'm sure that'll go fast. That's great. And then we brought a Cabernet that's 100% from Triumphal Creek. If you went down Canaan Road, turn right on Triumphal Creek, stop, and look up in the hills. Came from up in those top of those hills. Oh, wow. I love that. I love that it's so local to this Malibu, Calabasas area, um, which is home to so many people because of the Los Angeles. I mean, Los Angeles is one of the largest cities in the world, so it's it it's is. wonderful to uh, to have so many wineries so close to us. You now, tell us a little bit about the owner of Wade's Wines. You, can you tell us his his name and his background? Absolutely, his name is Wade Slosser, and he started in this business about six years ago by storing wines for friends. Uh -huh. And basically his wife said, there's too much wine in the house, go take it somewhere else. And I'd hate to have that problem. It started out that way, then he created an online ordering business, which was a lot of fun because it's his hobby. And from that, we opened the retail store about six years ago, it started in a small little cubicle in an industrial park. And it's now grown to four cubicles, soon to be five cubicles with over 5,000 different labels. Moving on up to the next cubicle. Right, now we actually <laughs> handle uh, spirits. We have 600 different tequilas. Nice. 500 single malt scotches, 450 wow. different micro Wow, now are you sampling the tequilas and the scotches today? No, oh, unfortunately no. that's not something you can do at this type of event. Oh really? Especially huh. when they call Got it a wine and food festival. But, <laughs> but uh, we, we actually have uh, spirit tastings at various restaurants, like okay. Moe's Buddha Bar, several of the other famous restaurants. And uh, we get a, a large crowd, especially on the single malt scotch tastings, because it's an educational class where they prepare food with the scotch and food with the tequila, so there are matches there. It makes that's it very enjoyable. Great. Well, that's, you know, like you said, there is a lot of wonderful food vendors here from different restaurants, so people will be trying the food and then coming out to taste your wines. It's going to be a fantastic day here in Calabasas at the Calabasas Malibu Wine Festival. And, Bill, we're so glad that you stopped by our VIP media lounge here at the festival yeah. and shared with us just a little bit about Wade's Wines. We're going to keep our, our eye out for you guys because it sounds like there are just a lot of different brands or a lot of different labels out there under your brand that we need to be watching for. Absolutely. I invite you out to the facility sometime. Maybe we'll do a show it. right on site. Taste all 42 wines. Wow. Oh, that's going to be a long day. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll send a cab. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, hang tight. We have so many great adventures for you today as you hang along with us here at the VIP Lounge at the fourth annual Calabasas Malibu Wine Festival.